All right, my next guest here on the show is a UFC fighter who makes his uh, short notice UFC debut at UFC Fight Night 89 in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada on June 18th. Please welcome Jonathan Munet to the show for the very first time. Jonathan, how's it going? Fine, and you? Thanks. Thank you for taking the time, especially on the day of uh, your, your fight announcement. Um, so let, let's talk your UFC debut here. Um, you were literally just signed to uh, take on Colby Covington. Um, I'm sure you've dreamed about being a UFC fighter for a long, long time, but uh, how crazy is it that it's a reality? Yeah, I was for a long time to reach the UFC, and now I got the opportunity to to have this fight. So it's a short notice, but I accept this and uh, I go forward for it. Um, are you surprised at all at how long it took the UFC to sign you as an 8 0 Wall Street fighter? Um, it seems like you would have been signed quite some time ago. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not surprised. I think I, I do uh, what I need to do to reach uh, the, this organization. Uh, we win all my, my last fight and a good performance. So I, I think I think it is what I, I. I think it's good. I think I think. Um, I don't know the, the word to to explain and it. it is, I think it's normal. I reach, I reach UFC and I, I, I have the opportunity to have this fight. Do you think being a Walt Reed fighter with the division being pretty stacked, you have a lot of top contenders, do you think that had anything to do with it? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, yeah, I know. I know I'm able to, to deal with, with it. Absolutely. Now you've already fought twice this year with uh, this upcoming UFC debut being your second or being your third this year in 2016. Uh, you you last fought late last month in May. I'm um, just talking about being a, a quite an active fighter because oftentimes it's pretty tough for Canadians to get fights. Um, obviously up here in Canada, why have you been able to get so many fights? Yeah, it's true. In Canada now, it is hard to have fights. So. I think more you you give performance, more you give a, a good a good show, uh, more you have chance to to fight. Uh, watch now, I, I won my last two fights. I won titles fight. So after a lot of promoters send me message to to fight uh, in 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 them organization after. Are you training out of TriStar for this fight? Yeah, always. Uh, I train. I train always. I try to Montreal now. Who are some of your main uh, training partners uh, out of Tristar? Do you ever get in time with the likes of Roy McDonald or uh, GSP? Uh, yeah, I, I, I train with them, and I, I got to the same the same coach to as a hobby. Uh, I, I train with my my first training partner there, Nordin Taleb, Francis Carmon, uh, Alex Garcia. I love a lot of fighters. Uh, Always new, uh, new fighters came to to still to study the, the the martial art. There yeah, is is awesome. How cool is it to be on the same card as your teammate Roy McDonald? Oh, I'm I'm really proud. I'm really proud and satisfied. And I, I just talked today with uh, with uh, Olio by Mercy. He's gonna fight on this card too. And and we are we are. Uh, we are happy to 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 be held on this card. Uh, a lot a lot of of training partner on, on the same card is is really good. Do you think stepping up on short notice will be difficult at all when it comes to your weight cut? Uh, the weight cut? No, no. I, I'm I'm not the the biggest uh, welterweight. Uh, I have fight uh, three times in two weeks and a half now. So three cuts in two weeks. Yeah, it, it's the hard part. Uh, I think the hard part of the fight, but it's it's, it's okay. I, I only cut like fifteen pounds. It's not it's not um, it's not difficult for me. Gosh, and now what do you know about Colby Covington as a fighter? Uh, I think he's a, he's a good fighter. Is from he's from American Top Team, so he's a good wrestler. And Alex Garcia is is a is a really really strong fighter, so I I think yeah I, I respect I respect him and uh, I respect all of my opponents and I, I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give the, the performance the, the better one uh, ever is true. 
Um, after this, uh, after this fight, win or lose over Colby Covington, is there anyone you'd, you'd like to fight next? Have you looked at the UFC roster at all and uh, picked out a few waltweights you'd like to, uh, scrap with next? Uh, so the, my, my, my next opponent after, after, uh, yes, after, after, after yes, uh, is there anyone you'd, you'd like to, uh, fight specifically? Uh, I, I didn't have a specific, I think. Uh, when a fighter entering UFC, you just need to be ready to fight with everybody. Gotcha. Now, you were the first Canadian fighter, to the best of my knowledge, um, signed to the UFC before or, or since Misha Serkinov back in summer of last year. Although it's a great accomplishment being signed to the UFC, I, I, I'm sure this was one of the best uh, days of your life, but talk about there being a lack of Canadians in the UFC. Uh, is a big come completion in my life, yeah, it's, it's like a richer thing, and now it's, 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 a, it's a, new, a new story starting for me. Uh, I, I don't think what's going to happen after, uh, yeah, it's, it's sure for, uh, I, I, I try to, to have my, I, I try to have my security, my security after this, this career, but I live the moment. Do you know what I mean when I say there's a lack of Canadians? Like, there's not too many Canadian fighters in the UFC right now. Like I said, Misha Serkinov was the first, uh, last UFC fighter uh, from Canada to be signed to the organization before you today. Um, do you know what I mean when I say there's a lack of Canadians in the UFC? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, you're, you're... Like, there's not too many. There's not many right now. Not many Canadian fighters in the UFC now. Yes, what do you think about that? Uh, it's true, it's true, not, not as many. Um, you know, I can just talk with my friends uh, in Oregon today about that. I think as a lot of fans in the world, they, they have the potential or the, the, yeah, they are the, 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 the potential to be in UFC and they didn't are. Um, I, I don't... I don't have anything to say about this. I think it is a question of momentum and time. Maybe, maybe, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I have a lot of Canadians that can fight in the UFC. And what are your thoughts on the uh, the overall regional UFC talent? Because, a a as I'm sure you know, um, as a former regional fighter yourself, you, you just were fighting kind of in the non-UFC uh, circuit. Um, there aren't too many shows nowadays. I, I know you fought in Quebec a few times. Um, that's kind of your home right now, like when it comes to fighting. There's also some organizations in Alberta and things like that. But for the most part, it, it's pretty scarce when it comes to local MMA organizations up here in Canada. Um, give me your thoughts on the overall scene uh, in regional Canada. Yes, absolutely. Now, uh, second last question before I let you go, Jonathan. Um, I want to ask about a newspaper story that you were featured in. According to an article on MMAfighting.com, a, a local newspaper one time wrote a story about you and uh, called you the bad boy of Quebec. Uh, first off, is that uh, correct? Is that accurate? And uh, if so, is that do you, do a lot of people call you that um, that nickname? Absolutely. Now, last question, Jonathan. How do you defeat Colby Covington on June 18th? Uh, I, I don't defeat him like, like the other one, I think, with, with a good state on defense, striking and ground and pound. Um, submission, I, I don't go for the submission. I, I think the submission is, is the chance to pass a submission, but 
uh, I've always preferred to strike. Awesome, Jonathan. Appreciate you taking the time. Uh, before I let you go, just let my audience know where they can find you on social media. And if there's anyone you'd like to thank you, give a shout out to. Now is your time. Okay, and again, again, follow me on Instagram, and District Joe Munier, and the Daddy, again, follow me on Instagram, District Joe Munier, and the Daddy, again, follow me too on uh, Facebook at Team Munier.